right guys today we're going to talk about what the three most important edc tools for me are and we have all three of them laid out in front of me and for this video i know that um I think the three most important tools is definitely kind of arguable, but how I came to my conclusion or my thought process, at least for the three most important tools is what are the most versatile, useful and non duplicable pieces of kit that I carry every day. And essentially what I mean by this is that each one of these provides a good amount of value and use and none of these three tools duplicate each other and so we'll jump into that in just a little bit but essentially that is how I got to my phone keys and a knife and I think that these are three things that among other things a handful of other things I would never leave home without but these are probably the top three that I just don't leave home without so let's first start with the keys. Now the truck keys are pretty obvious and kind of self-explanatory. You can't really leave home if you don't have a means of leaving home. And many people might argue, you know, you could take a bike, you could walk. Um, but for me, especially being in Alaska, driving is pretty much a necessity to get anywhere. And of course, once again, when it comes down to the truck, you know, that gives you the ability to drive and that is obviously not duplicated by any other tools. So this obviously plus a vehicle um, or plus the corresponding vehicle related to these keys is going to be first up on the list because that's how you get around, that's how you move, that's part of everyday life. So first up is the truck keys. They are very important. Um, and of course, it is worth noting, they are on a black ember um, QD mount here. So this is just a QD little lanyard that quick detaches. So super handy, super useful and awesome. All right, the next one up is the phone. And I think the phone gets a lot of like skepticism because I know a lot of people don't like being connected and in fairness, you know, it, as far as wilderness and survival life goes, I'm definitely not the largest fan of a phone, but undoubtedly in an everyday situation, the phone is probably the modern day multi-tool. And what I mean by this is, of course you can make calls you can text, you can, you know, communicate to people who are not, you know, right next to you, but also with modern phones like this, they can act as wallets. You can purchase things using, you know, cards preloaded in your phone. You can do so much with a phone that is just everyday life related. So even if you forget something like a wallet, you know, you still have the ability to purchase things with your phone at some places. Obviously this doesn't work 100%. All right, so like I was saying, the phone just is the modern day multi-tool. It's capable of doing a wide variety of tasks in general living. Now, like I said, this is in stark contrast to wilderness survival. Obviously, a phone is not as useful in that environment. And of course, you need tools fitting of that environment. So this is a phone, though, for EDC. It's very hard to beat a just solid general phone. Um, it could be an iPhone or a Samsung or an Android or whatever, but mine just happens to be an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that is the next tool up. Now the last one up on the list is going to be the venerable knife. Now there are many, many different styles, manufacturers, and types of knives, but just generally speaking, a knife is the next one up on the list. And the primary reason why that is, is for a few points. And of course, there is the general utility of the knife, of course, for opening packages, boxes, bags of chips, whatever, um, you know, a knife is very handy for those reasons. There's also partly the survival purposes. You can certainly break down things, um, make fires, do different stuff. Some knives, of course, do that better than others. Folders are not usually the best, but they do work in a pinch for that purpose. Then, of course, there is the general self-defense point of view for knives. And this is part of the reason why I did not actually include a firearm on this list is because knives can also be used in a defensive role. So once again, far from being the best at that, and I'm not saying I'd recommend carrying a knife explicitly for self-defense, but it can be pushed into that role. And once again, the whole thing was to find three tools that could really just hold their own and not have any any duplicability 
to them. So a knife can be used in utilitarian roles. It can also be used in self-defense roles. So it can be a jack of all trades. And once again, I'm not saying that it's the best at doing self-defense, but it is there, it is an option, and it's not always a half bad option too, depending on the situation and the circumstances. So anyways, that is the last tool up on the three EDC tools, top three EDC tools that I would not leave home without. So anyways, guys, anyways, guys, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.